Hey guys, so for this week's episode of the Exoskeleton Build, we're going to uh, test some of that ballistic plastic I told you about a few uh, videos ago. If you haven't seen that yet, you can check it out right here. And basically, this is a, it's, it's very expensive fiber reinforced engineering plastic. And I have a suspicion that it's, it's uh, kind of ballistic grade. So, we're going to use a crossbow because unfortunately we live in Canada and uh, guns are a bit harder to come by than uh, perhaps say America. So, this is the next best thing. If it survives the crossbow test, I'll take it up north. I've got, I know a few people who have some uh, hunting weapons we can make use of for a day or two. Um, so let's give it a shot. All right, so before we test the plastic, I have a few other sample materials we're going to see how the crossbow fares against. So we have a piece of three quarter inch particle board. We have a piece of plywood, which is the same thickness as the plastic. And we have a piece of 16 gauge stainless steel plate. So, it'll be interesting to see what the crossbow can do. Now, you may have noticed these pieces are pretty small, which means uh, hopefully I'm a good shot. But luckily, I've been watching a lot of Green Arrow lately, and I think I can do it. And actually, if you check out one of my other videos, um, I can show you how to split an arrow down its shaft with another arrow. Alright, so to test the samples, we've uh, rigged up a little plywood um, stands. We have a thick metal plate back here just to make sure we don't shoot the crossbow through the garage door and out into the neighbor's cat. <laughs> um, so all we have to do is you put the sample up here, you got an air gap behind it so if the bolt is going to go through we'll be able to see that and we're going to have a GoPro mounted right here watching it in slow motion. So let's get shooting. So this crossbow I picked it up uh, about a year ago. It's a 135 pound draw which isn't that much for a crossbow, but it's still pretty powerful. Uh, my compound bow is only 60 pounds, so this is over two times as powerful. Um, you could hunt with it. You probably won't be taking out big game, but if you're to shoot a person, this, yeah, probably. It's a, it's a good representation of uh, whether or not this armor is going to do anything for us. So let's load it up. Alright, so our first sample is a piece of plywood, and I'm pretty sure this bolt is going to absolutely obliterate it. So it went through the plywood, and it went through the three quarter inch plywood behind it. Let's try a harder sample. So that went through the plywood like it wasn't even there. It even went through the particle board behind it. So just for shits and giggles, we're going to try shooting the particle board with another layer of particle board behind it. So that went all the way through and into the next layer. Definitely not armor material. Next up, we're going to try a piece of 16 gauge stainless steel. I'm very curious to see what this does. Boing. Wow, look at that. It pierced it, but then bounced back. And the tip's completely fine. So, kids, this is why you don't test your crossbow at short range in a garage. I'm a trained professional. It's okay.
All right, so we've set up a nice little barrier to protect me and the, uh, the cameraman. Um, so let's see what happens. Let's get the GoPro recording now. And safety first. So we did get a little bit of penetration, but it bounced right out. So, you know what that means? If we layer this with either a sheet of stainless steel or another layer of plastic, we can probably stop the, uh, the bolt completely. Now, I think before we do something like that, we should probably set up a better range because we're basically trying to create armor, which means us shooting at the armor is going to be become exceedingly a, a worse idea for the, uh, the protection of ourselves. So, I'd say that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good test. See, because it's fiber reinforced, it's very impact resistant. But when you take a table saw to it, it cuts through it like butter. Luckily, uh, no one wields table saws. Chainsaws, though, we might have to be uh, worried about. Alright, so for the final test, we've put two sheets of plastic um, held together. So, let's see how it does. So you want to build an EXO, 